Welcome, children of God. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book to share with all God's children. I am ministering unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our Father, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ Almighty. I'm ministering unto our Lord before our Grandfather God, the only Father God, and you, children of God, that are hearing his holy word that I'm reading to you. Children of God, Thank you for coming to Run All God's Children, where Jesus is the teacher, and he is going to show us, and I am going to praise his name until he come back. I hope you tune in. Check out Run All God's Children, for I will be saved, and them that hear God's holy word. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, the sixth podcast. Let's glorify Jesus' name, thanking the Father always. St. John, the 12th chapter, the 28th verse. Glorify thy name. Then came a voice from heaven, saying, I have both glorified and I will glorify it again glory glory hallelujah glory glory hallelujah the father of God the sun and it's coming back for everyone glory glory hallelujah he that beginning and the end he's our only beloved friend he's that true and the light, he's gonna make everything all right. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. been taking care of you and me. He's the one that's been taking care of you and me. Glory, glory, hallelujah. I'm going to tell the truth. So I can be made free. He's the one that healed the sick and raised the dead. He's the one that got all power in his hands. He's that true. And the light, he will make everything all right. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. The truth that that make us free, that laws alone, that king of kings, author and the finisher.
finisher, that beginning and the end. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Yes, children of God, our Lord and Savior, I'm going to praise his name. Welcome, children of God, should be among you, part 14. Welcome, children of God, from 2 Peter, the third chapter, the 16th to the 18th verse, as also in all his apostles speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they are unlearned and unstable, wits, W-R-E-S-T, as they do also the other scriptures, as also in all his disciples. It have apostles speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood, which they are unlearned, unstable wits, as they do also the other scriptures, the 17th verse. Ye therefore, beloved, Seeing these, seeing ye know these things before, beware, lest ye also being led away with the error of their wicked, falling from your own steadfast. The 18th verse. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord, the Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. We're going to look up from 16th to the 18th verse. Read for yourself. God is not an author of confusion. They that are unlearned, my Lord, and unstable, W-R-E-S-T, rest, wits. Well, anyway, I couldn't pronounce it, so I looked it up. Forcefully, forcefully, pull something in parentheses, forcefully pulled from a person grasp. That's what they did to us, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our Father. They took our precious name from us that we are called. We are called the children of God and none of the children seems to want to call themselves children of God. I had a young lady and she said that why when we say that we are Christians we're saying that we are children of God. But I say my Lord that that's how they took our name from us. Given us a religion a denomination Oh, my Lord, thank you. Thank you, my, I have in parentheses, our Father, Lord Jesus Christ Almighty, for letting me ministering to you before majesty, the only Father God, our Grandfather God, also ministering to you, Lord, before they 
that hear your holy word. In your name, Father, Lord, Jesus Christ Almighty, Lord, it is written, St. Matthew, the 12th chapter, the 31st verse. Wherefore I say unto you, all manners of sin and blaspheme shall be forgiven unto men. But the blaspheme against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. Yes, my Lord. I told them the Holy Spirit is in every child of God. And I explained to them why. Because you, my Lord, is in us. And we are in you. And you, my Lord, Take us to our only father, our grandfather, God. I even told him, my Lord, that you wouldn't make, our grandfather, God, wouldn't make nothing like us. For he made you, my Lord, our father. And we blaspheme your name. Yes, my Lord. I tell them now I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book to share with all of them. Now, since none of them want to say the Holy Spirit is in them, I am the Holy Spirit, my Lord, because I read to them that we are that. But who believe your words, my Lord? What are the children being taught? Also, my Lord, our Lord, it is written, Isaiah, the 42nd chapter, the ninth verse. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth. I'll tell you of them. My Lord, I told them I called on you, and Grandfather God, in your name, my Lord, I called on Grandfather God. I'm making it plain to them that I'm ministering to you and I don't have to talk to them because they know everything, my Lord. Pernicious, my Lord, we have been taught. And that's the way we are following those that tell us about you, my Lord. But my Lord, am I making it plain to these children that I called on something that everybody is talking about and they seem to call me a lie to me, my Lord. But I showed them your words. I read to them Grandfather, God gave me your words. And all I have to do is read to run in your race. My Lord, our Lord, I'm angry. It is written, Jonah, the fourth chapter, the third and fourth verse. Wherefore now, O Lord, take I beseech thee, my life from me. For it is better for me to die than to live. The fourth verse. Then said the Lord, Does thou well to be angry? O oh Lord, you and in your name, Grandfather God, know what I need, please do it for me. Show the children who I called on. Grandfather God, before 
You do what you're going to do because you are, it's being done. They need to look at the weather. They go to the weather, man. But they need to come to God. Yes, my Lord, you said you draw all people unto you. All I have to do is read your word. I have been put out of God's house of prayer. I have been told by those in your house that I don't know what I'm reading. Oh, my Lord, who do they think they are? Let's look up the 16th to the 18th verse. The 16th verse has in it, speak in them of these things, and it has the CP period, my Lord, compare. Romans, the eighth chapter, the 19th verse. For the earnest expectation of the creatures wait for the manifestation of sons of God. It is also written in the 22nd verse, for we know that the whole creation groaneth and tribbled in pain until now, my Lord. The 16th verse has in it, hard to be understood. Yes, my Lord. They make it hard to be understood. Hebrew, the fifth chapter the 11th verse, of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing. Who hears your word, my Lord? The children, our Lord, do they believe? Do they know what belief is? Grandfather God is belief. He gave us faith. You, my Lord. I'm ministering unto you, my Lord. The things you wrote to us that I have read that I know. Yes, my Lord. I know. I know you were sent. It is written. And all the children should know. They saying they are following you, my Lord. How can you follow something that's in you? My Lord, I read to them. And every time I come on, I read to them what you delight. Yes, my Lord. Jeremiah, the ninth chapter, the 24th verse. But let him that glory, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness, judgment, righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Yes, my Lord. You delight what I'm doing, learning about you, understanding the, the pain you took for us, my Lord, and the suffering you even doing now because we have went astray from you. Yes, we have. I, I did not know the things I know now until I read what Grandfather God gave me, my testimony. Oh, my Lord, they have tricked your children. Hebrew, it's in Hebrew also, the fifth chapter, the twelfth verse. For when the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first 
principle of the oracle of God and become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Oh, my Lord. Are the children learning anything because you are the teacher this time? I told them what they are writing about you, you going to show them. Who do the children think they are to go against God? I should know pernicious, my Lord. I am pernicious. I follow those that have taken me astray, but they didn't take me enough that I did not call on you. Yes, my Lord. And I told my son one time, if he don't think I'm an MF, ask his mama. And I tell my friends, if you think I'm not an MF, Ask my children. Yes, I am a mother. And who do the children think they can try to change my mind? My Lord, I said I'm mad. And you wrote to Jonah that does thou well to be angry. Yes, my Lord, I am angry. The 17th verse has in it. Seeing you know these things before. Second Peter, the first chapter, the second verse. Wherefore I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things Though you know them and be established in the truth. Be established in the truth. Your children do not know greater is in them than in the world. They blame everything else but themselves. I blame me, my Lord, and I'm in you. Yes, my Lord, please forgive us, your children. We have turned against God and nobody, I read that. You said we turned against you and you even tell us why. You are against us. But your loving kindness, your understanding, I read my Lord to learn about you. <laughs> you have, you have taken so much from us. You don't have to take it no more. Cause I'm going to tell them the truth. Yes, my Lord, the truth will make me free. And if I say you, my Lord, is the truth, I lie not. Before Grandfather God, I'm telling the truth because he is my witness. And those that hear your holy words. Yes, my Lord. The 17th verse has in it. Seeing you know these things before. Yes, my Lord, they know. They say, I know the Bible. I went to college. I was ordained. I'm nothing. I'm just one that's crying in the wilderness. For you, my Lord. The 17th verse has in it. Seeing you know these things before. Second Peter, the first chapter, the second verse. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance 
of these things, though you know them, and be established in the truth. My Lord, greater is in us that is in the world. Why don't we come together? What taken us apart from one another? That we want to condemn ourselves. The 17th verse has in it, Singing, you know these things before. St. Mark, the 13th chapter, the 23rd verse. Take heed, behold, I have foretold you all things. I told him, my Lord, that you, my Lord, this is the beginning of sorrow. You, my Lord, your words is going to show them. You are my teacher. And I'm reading to them, my Lord, what you wrote. Now, my Lord, show them. The 17th verse has in it, Beware, at least ye also being led away. Second Peter, the second chapter, the 14th and the 18th verse. Having full of adultery, and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls and heart they are have exercised and heart they have exercised with covenant practice curse children yes my lord that's what they teach us but now the truth will be read and they will know who I called on. The 18th verse has in it. No, this is the 18th verse. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure, though the lust of the flesh through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean escaped them who lived in error. My Lord, who escaped them? Who believe what I am reading now? Who believe Grandfather God? For he wrote the book I read. I learned that. And he gave us the true and living word. Oh, my Lord. A-L-L-U-R-E. It means, my Lord. Well, it is written in the dictionary. But, my Lord, I tell the children, don't trust man. I can't even trust myself. I must put my trust in my belief. And my Lord, my faith, I'll take it up against anybody. A-L-L-U-R-E. The quality of being powerfully a mister, mister, mysteriously active and Fascinating. Powerful. Attract or charm. Attempt. They can look it up. How they've been being. How we. Have been tricked. By those that say they know your words. And want to explain your words. Oh, my Lord. 
Even those that are head of your house have been taught, my Lord. The 17th verse has in it, beware at least ye also being led away. Yes, my Lord. They won't lead me away because I'm going to go all over this world to tell the children, look up from which your help come from. Yes, my Lord. You all power was put in your hands. Beware, at least you also be led away. Ephesians, the fourth chapter, the 14th verse. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every whim of doctrine by the slage of man and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. The children don't even know they are being deceived, my Lord. Pernicious we are. We have become pernicious. We worry more about this world than about you, my Lord. They do. The 17th verse has in it. The wicked fall from your own steadfast. The wicked, they make us fall from our own steadfast, believing in you, trusting in you, saying to themselves, I am a child of God, that precious name that was given to us. Oh, my Lord. Second Peter, the second chapter, the seventh verse. And deliver just lot, vexed, vexed it, with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Yes, my Lord, when you destroyed that city, Lot was there because he had to move away from Abraham because his people and Abraham people was getting in arguments between one another. So, they asked them to leave. And Lot went to that city. But when you sent those angels, I guess they was angels, or when you sent your servants to destroy that city, Abraham tried to talk out of it and say, if you only find 10, then he went down the five or maybe I'm um, see pernicious my lord I don't know but I'm telling them I don't know but then he's talking to you my lord said if one and that was what his nephew lie yes my lord understanding you that's what I am doing. And then Lot, with his filthy mouth, was saved. He was delivered. Oh, my Lord. What don't the children understand? In the 18th verse, but grown in grace. Ephesians. The fourteenth, the fourth chapter, the fifteenth verse. But speaking the truth in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Yes, my Lord, we are one. Where are the ones that are with us? 
Where are the ones that know we are the Holy Spirits of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? I'm not ashamed to say it. I am the Holy Spirit. I'm not ashamed of your words, my Lord. The 18th verse has in it, but grown in grace. Colossians. The first chapter, the 10th verse, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in knowledge of God. Yes, my Lord, I ask you to give me more knowledge. Let me know more about understanding the kindness all about you my Lord for my life is yours my Lord don't the children understand all is yours Eighteenth verse has in it knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the second chapter, Second Peter, excuse me, Lord, pernicious. Yes, my Lord, trying to get out of it. Second Peter, the first chapter, the fifth verse. And besides this, giving all dizziness, dizziness, D-I-L-I-G-E-N-C-E, -E, adding to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge. Yes, my Lord, study your words. Virtue, behavior showing high moral standard, standards, a good and useful quality of a thing. A quality considered morally good or desirable in a person. I told a gentleman, only thing good is the Father. And he who is saved, that's what's written. But you told him, only Father is good. Because of us, my Lord, you say that. Because he made you. And you created us from the woman's womb. Oh, my Lord. The 18th verse has in it. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Yes, my Lord. I'm glorifying your name and they don't even know it. They don't even understand it because they want to get into your house of prayer and say they praise in your name, singing and they preaching and my Lord, who is sincere? Who show you? I haven't met one minister one person talking about you, my Lord, am I right or wrong? That don't blaspheme your name. That want to tell the children what they do or what they are and how the ones that is teaching them is. For they say they like them. Oh, don't you feel this? We feel this way. Well, don't you do that? Well, I don't do it. I don't feel the way they feel, my Lord. Is something wrong with me? The 18th verse has in it, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Romans. The 11th chapter, the 36th verse. 
for of him and through him and to him all things are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. For of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. My Lord, I explain to your children that I called on you. And my Lord, I know already what to say if I tell you that I'm going to keep praising your name. And I know you know everything and grandfather God. But the only father God, I say unto you. Welcome to run all God's children. Oh, father, father, the only father. children might not understand this but you knew and your son knew what I was going to do 
and what I have been doing. Yes, and not only me, every child of God, you even know what the wicked evil is going to do because Grandfather God, your son, created evil. Yes. What don't the children understand? Are they turning against me, my Lord? If they turn against me, they turn it against you and grandfather. For we are one. They are turning against their selves. But children of God, this is to you. Ministering before our Lord and Savior, who believe God's word? He promised he'll let you know before it happens. So let me tell you, this is the beginning of sorrow. I can talk about uh, the president, the ex-president. I can talk about the Congress. Yes, I'm in this world. I see it. But wait. The United States is one nation under God. And who is going to stand to his wrath? Yes, children of God. Come unto the Lord. Listen to the runner. For I call myself the runner. And the reason, because I learned with the children of God, I've been on this since 2007. I was trying to talk to the children, but all I got was arguments. Now I'm ministering to the Lord, and there is no argument because I plead my case to him. Welcome, children of God, to runallgodschildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. He is going to show you what he wrote to us. Take care of yourself.